They are Precision Workstation 3680. I really wish I would have made a video when I unboxed this PC and pulled the side cover off for the first time because I was genuinely surprised and shocked how bad this PC is actually built and designed. I've been doing full-time IT in the past 22 years and this thing is still caught me by surprise. If you go to data.com and try to spec this PC out from scratch, you better warm up your fingers because by the time you scroll down to the end of the list, it is going to be overwhelming and you have to really, really read carefully and pay attention what you're actually going to select and what's not going to be selected automatically or by default. So once we explain every single component, I will give you my recommendation. Unfortunately, this PC was not trouble free. I hate to say it as much as I was impressed with this PC initially with the build quality and the engineering this PC was not working right for two days straight when I was trying to do a performance test Cinebench 23 constantly locked up at the last second it would not finish the test it would not give me a result Cinebench 24 was just literally hanging not even starting it had a black screen or the the computer screen just went black so I thought maybe this is a uh, a video driver issue or a video card issue. I, I tried add on cards, remove the card, uninstalled, reinstalled. So I did the clean install from Microsoft downloading a Windows 11 Pro ISO, just clean install with that ISO, removed all the dead partitions. And guess what? Uh, the PC worked flawlessly. I this machine has to do is just one job it has to be super reliable i cannot have the client in an accounting office especially the owner in accounting season telling me that the computer is randomly black screening or locking up this is a whole point he said get me the best possible computers which are gonna run for five to six years without any glitch and these are running uh, easily like these precision workstations came back after five six years and they're still fully functional this really caught me by surprise as well that it wasn't business ready and i went to the other com and i'm looking at the reviews under this particular model and yes i can show you that i wasn't a one and only who ran into this issue unfortunately other people run into this issue the pc was blue screening or was locking up and after uh, doing a clean install uh, from a from a clean iso uh, the issue went away yeah let's get to the ports and let me pull off the side cover and tell you what's really really good and stands out and punch above uh, an average desktop so first of all uh, this is a 3.5 optional caddy in here 3.5 drive or 2.5 seat or whatever you want to put it in i can think it can be lockable uh, this could be the slot in here could be for a dvd or blu-ray player uh, we also have um, the power button obviously and then we have the headphone out we have two 3.2 usb ports and we have two usb c which is pretty awesome and we also have an actually fully working memory card reader none of my clients are using this was pre-spec uh, was came as a pre-build so I could not change uh, components on it but I will tell you which one should have been changed or which one I could have changed uh, in the process so in the back side we have an army of ports we have the headphone out we have two display ports we have four USB ports we have a network port and we have also two USB-C ports as you can see there are knockouts in here and those are for a reason you can have a second nick for a couple dollars coming from the motherboard and also you can have a, an optional port in here it could be a USB-C which I don't have uh, it could be a display port it could be an HDMI it could be a VGA uh, just in case unfortunately the Dell Optiplex has this trick in its sleeve that the serial port still can be uh, connected to the circuit board this doesn't have that option Believe it or not, in 2024, I still have clients who has a super expensive uh, equipment uh, in manufacturing or in healthcare, which is still relies on a connection of a serial port. So let me move these out of the way. Uh, little trick, very neat feature. Uh, let me pull off the side cover and let me show you what was I talking about. So this is a latch, it's a screwless design. Uh, just, uh, just like the XPS, you cannot remove this side cover and that is uh, has to be factored in when you try to replace uh, a Dell a CPU fan you might gonna run into some issues that this thing is not removable it also has its pros and cons so 
uh, if you pull the latch off you see that sometimes it's not coming off easily all you have to do is it's not folding to the side like the uh, other models would do you have to just lift it up lift it away once the latch is open as you can see we have right of the bat some help how can we install a new 3.5 drive uh, how can we uh, arrange things in a pc if i would have to describe this pc from a technical standpoint this is technically an apple uh, pc because everything is so obvious i don't have to look at the manual most of the thing you probably should but everything is uh is changeable or replaceable or gradable is marked with blue like this blue carry you put your drive in it uh, you slap it in the, the cables are already here we have three 3.5 zero uh, options in here one two and this is a removable carrier could be that's three we also have uh, these tabs in here all you have to do is just lift them away from either push or lift it away and the front bezel opens up and we can remove this so as you can see <coughs> we have a built-in speaker it's a two watt speaker right here i don't think i ever seen that before but we have two huge fans in here and normally these would be supported by four uh, screws from the other side not in here single click and they are folds away uh, folding away this one has one screw obviously once you remove that single screw this can be completely removed and why would we do that well technical cooling system in here if you need to or want to this power supply look at this odd shaped thing it's a 500 watt uh, platinum 80 rated power supply look how nicely has the con the connectors just plugged in here ready to go whatever you whatever you do and um, it has these rails in it uh, this model doesn't came with it, come with it because uh, this is a low end uh, quote unquote low end it's an i5 uh, the CPU range is between an i3 and an i9K CPU and depends on what model you go uh, some parts going to be automatically upgraded if you get even uh, a PC and it's customizable I would suggest to don't go with a 500 watt power supply again this PC can last for a decade uh, go with a thousand watt power supply that's my gonna only cost you like $70 extra uh, you might not gonna need it right away but maybe later on if you need to replace this power supply it will be several hundred dollars to do that uh, if you get that right off the bat no issues whatsoever same thing with the cpu cooler if you go with the k cpu this cpu cooler will be automatically replaced uh, not exactly to this but something called uh, something look almost identical to this it's a little bit bulkier taller uh, the dell advanced uh, air cooler you can get that from there for 55 dollars if you choose to upgrade there is an upgrade option to replace this standard this aluminium cheap low level fan to the dell uh, which has a copper core has not three uh, heat pipes but has four in it and uh, it's it's gonna give you significantly better performance uh, as we know you can go with that and for, i think the upgrade only costs like 33 dollars when you do that so you're gonna have these vr heat skins in here which are completely missing and that tower cooler that tower cooler by itself it's 55 dollars us dollars the vr i could only find them 32 dollars a piece so that would be almost 120 dollars versus 40 dollars uh, when you order so i would definitely do that um, what's the performance difference the, between the dell advanced tower cooler and maybe this guy which i borrowed from the xps uh, tower this is a dell pump it's about depends on what kind of application are you using or what uh, actually are you what kind of cpu are you are you actually installing but uh, i made some tests and just with this i5 which is matching with my i9 uh, k cpu experience it's somewhere between two to ten percent in general but the, uh, the difference the performance dif difference between this um standard aluminium full aluminium uh, cooler versus the Dell small pump versus the Dell advanced uh, air cooler and what's the difference between the two is really no difference uh, one percent sometimes a pump is better the other times is the other uh, Dell advanced uh, air cooler is better which one is more reliable obviously the fan uh, the pump since this machine can last for 10 years or even longer the pump will probably not last the probably will last a good amount of times but also can be leaking and and, and liquid uh, and electric components even if it's a non-conductive uh, just corrosive or whatever um, i would just go with the fan however the fan can be rattling so worst case scenario can be rattling this fan was rattling uh, on day two 
the amount of troubleshooting I had to put this in like almost two days straight swapping components out just to find out that the clean install of Windows fixed this issue at one point the fan was rattling so when I put the pump in it was like like quiet the noise is like everything calmed down and 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 the so nice the pump barely makes any sound but the fan is kind of back to itself I don't know it was new or I haven't like I don't know something was manufacturing left somewhere behind and that worked itself out now this little fan is completely silent as well but go with the Dell advanced tower cooler uh, or with the pump uh, how much is that pump I think it's $150 on Amazon I'm sure you can buy it somehow from there I don't have a specific link I have the link for the I'm gonna put it in the description but this pump $55 was on eBay uh, when I bought it and it was open box item uh, it was completely uh, unopened brand new uh, what's the main difference between this uh, full aluminium core versus the advanced cooler and uh, the cold plate it's full copper and it's covering I left the thermal grease on it so you can see it's covering the whole entire surface of the CPU same thing with this not with this this one is only covering a circle about 70 80 percent of the surface of the CPU so we're gonna get a better cooling just by that we're gonna replace this just to show you because a lot of you are saying like they'll suck because of all these custom parts but this is the advantage why it's so easy so um, what are we talking about uh, RAM 128 gig max uh, could be ECC or non ECC uh, previously we had the feature to go with the Xeon processors in these Dell precision workstations that is not an option anymore other than that I'm, what I'm seeing is technically an XPS the main difference is when you order you can get like business graded or business class graphics card like the A series the T series the cheapest card what I think uh, makes sense to go with this PC would be the T1000 uh, Dell is giving you discount on all the Nvidia products it's there is there is room from getting a discount from so for example this card this Nvidia a card costs normally on four hundred dollars if you go and spec out this PC and uh, and go with this T1000 it only costs two hundred dollars so so you're definitely getting um, some some return but just going with this PC I think if the Optiplex standard plus would cost you around uh, twelve hundred dollars we are definitely paying at least sixteen hundred dollars for the same matching configuration but we have all these options uh, as I mentioned we can have three three and a half SATA we can have three M2 in this PC uh, one in here this is by default and it's also marked and tagged so M2 one M2 three uh, and, and third M3 also we have a Wi-Fi option Wi-Fi option yes even if you pay two thousand dollar or whatnot for this PC it will not come with a Wi-Fi unless you spec it out or unless on a spec sheet business class machine 99.9% .9 of my clients does not need a Wi-Fi if it comes with a Wi-Fi either have to take it out or disable it just to make sure that when a computer is hardwired it cannot accidentally connect to an open network or a rogue network so uh, when you spec it out this will come with a with an external Wi-Fi antenna this doesn't even have an internal version unless you do a third party option this is how it looks like you're gonna have two shiny connectors on the back side of the PC somewhere here and do not just place this antenna on the top of the PC and call it a day uh, run a couple speed tests by moving this antenna around the PC in a different spots when you do that depends on what kind of Wi-Fi you have where is the uh, the antenna located what kind of service uh, do you have a signal strength you can double or triple the speed of the Wi-Fi just testing in different spots uh, under below uh, this is my personal experience It's definitely worth it since you already gonna have this uh, when you buy this from Dell so we talk about a couple things now let's uh, try to do a couple things let's remove a couple things and and uh, we'll go from there so first of all just to remove this fan again it's a single screw I'm just gonna only do this as a demonstration and uh, see the fan just literally comes out and then we're gonna disconnect uh, the CPU cooler as well in the same time since we are already here so I'm gonna put this fan away and this is where our red radiator uh, will clip in with the same screw I'm gonna keep the screw right here single screw to install the whole radiator and uh, just four screws to do a whole entire fan so let me put this on the side
This is a 14 gen i5 14500 and we have 32 gigs of ram 2 16 gig stick ddr5 and we have a 512 ssd when i hit the power button on this pc the pc boots up crazy fast it's in seconds it's up and running i absolutely love it and it, the performance is great ever since the clean install is done i have absolutely no complaint whatsoever and uh, i i really really appreciate this pc uh, what it is uh, let's try to get uh, a power cord and see if I have something and just hit the power button on this maybe we can put the phone ah, let's uh, um, let's see if I can turn it on I'm not gonna be able to turn it on so yeah I don't know how much you can hear I can barely hear anything the pump is going a little bit but mostly what I hear is this uh, radiator fan is going it is super quiet and super nice as always thank you so much for watching my video if you have any question please just use the comment section below. I will do my best to reply. And if you have any kind of experience or knowledge uh, what I'm not aware of, please share it. Your opinion is always welcomed on this channel. Thank you so much for your time. I'll see you in the next video. Scouts out.